Oh my goodness. Satisfaction. Do this very carefully. It's good! Just the same, just the same. Okay, today we have HP ProBook 450G5. Uh, the main thing we're going to do with him is uh, change thermal paste. So stick with me and uh, enjoy in the video. Before doing anything on laptop, I forgot about it, uh, just turn it off by pressing the power button for a few seconds. Okay, now we can work. Removing. No. Okay, now detaching cables from wireless, these two. We have one in here. Now we have a few screws that hold the keyboard. Keyboard. Okay, we have one in here. The ones from the back. Let's see, how will that go? Okay, now detaching the flat cable, you're gonna pop out. Now we have some screws in here. Later, let's see, can we do this with this? Okay. Okay, so let's start from this corner and get it right up. Okay, we are good. We didn't break anything. <laughs> so we need to so the display flat cable, power cable, flat from the USB port, USB-C port, holder, One from the pan. Free to go! Okay, I'm gonna remove the battery that I need to take out the card reader. Now, removing the screws from the battery.
Okay, hold on laptop, hold on. Let's see. Uh, do you... Okay, that's it. Oh, thanks God. Now we're gonna change thermal paste or thermal compound. Call it whatever you want. It is pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's remove the old thermal paste. Be very gently. It removes everything. Okay, I think it's good. It's good! Now let's apply Arctic MX4. Tiny, 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 tiny little bit of here and on the GPU. I think it's enough. Okay, that should go right in here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So the board looks clean. I don't need to clean it more. Okay, there is a little bit of dust, but I think it's in okay condition. Oh, let's put the motherboard in. Firstly, always you put these ones. All right, let's see the... Oh, yeah. This looks good also. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's good. It's good. Okay, I suppose. All right, this one, open the jack. Putting back the display jack. Jack black. Power. Right, boys in. We have three screws for this. Okay, that's it for that. All 
right. Alright. Type it back in. Oh, that's it. Go something like this. Alright. It is going in. It is in. All right, that is in. Not bad, not bad, not good, not bad. I'm saying again, the best way to clean under the keyboard, under the, this first layer, is to use compressor or compressed air. Alright, let's put the screws back in their place. It's in. This is the easiest part. M2 back in its place. 